My name is Ram Subramanian. I run this page called Voice of Ram. I've been trying to promote peace between India and Pakistan for some time now. Some of my friends don't understand why I fight for peace, so I thought I will make this video and explain it once for all. The thing is that India-Pakistan problem is closely linked to the Hindu-Muslim problem in India. Anytime an Indian Muslim has a point of view that is not in tune with the current opinion, he's asked to go to Pakistan. Why? Because Pakistan is the enemy. The truth is that normal sane people of both nations and of every religion don't want war. They just want to live a decent peaceful life. Only governments, government controlled bodies and armchair journalists keep this problem alive. The other thing India-Pakistan problem is closely linked to is education. I have a message for every political party in India and Pakistan that is pro promising people development and progress. Please understand what you're doing. You can build as many schools as you want. You can give children great labs, libraries, swimming pools, etc, etc, etc. But no matter what you do, children will spend only eight hours in the classroom. And we all know from personal experience that kids learn more outside a classroom than inside it. And if you create an atmosphere of fear and hatred, then that is what they will learn. You don't need some random guy like me to tell you that when you blend education and hatred in a society, you give birth to creative violence. We've all seen enough examples of creative violence in the recent past. And honestly, after what happened at Nice on Bastille Day, world over people would like to see it end. Another thing I really don't understand is why India and Pakistan are celebrating Independence Day. Because it's not like we actually stopped struggling or fighting. We just stopped fighting the British and started fighting each other right on the button. Also, before I finish this, one last question to the past Indian government that had been ruling India since independence. I was watching an international news video a few weeks back and it showed me very clearly that India does not have a Kashmir problem. It has half a Kashmir problem. The map very clearly showed how much of Kashmir is with China, how much of it is with Pakistan and how much of it is with us. If this is really the truth, then why was I taught a lie when I was in school? Why was I shown a map of India that is not true? You thought I will never find out? Or did you forget to send a memo to the education ministry? If you were in power today, I would have told you that I, as a regular aware citizen, might forgive my government that makes an honest mistake, but I won't forgive one that lies to me. Because when you lie, to me, you cross the line, and my lines are not imaginary like the one on your fake map that you made me believe in. My boundaries are very real. Finally, I sincerely request current leaders of both nations, India and Pakistan, to have a live televised talk and solve the problem that has been festering because of incompetent leadership. Millions of Indians and Pakistanis are getting along famously with each other all over the world. Millions more might be able to become truly independent of this rubbish that has been a collective bane for almost 70 years if you decide on it. Both India and Pakistan are still third world countries because of third world leadership. I wish I did not have to say this so openly and so loudly, but this is the truth from my perspective and understanding. Thank you for listening.